One guy's making moves is Niels van der Kokel. He's gone past Cody Pride there and he's now on to the back of Alex Dallin. So he's coming back for P4. Uh, Cody was all over the back of Alex actually. Niels is upset. Any chances of him there is Alex runs wide. Give the position oh. up to Niels and allowing Cody to get down the inside. Oh, the running side yeah, by side. Cody's taking a lot of curve. Having to be careful. He's getting the undercut now on Alex and he's sailing by but. Yep, there he was, being able to cut him off just before the breaking zone, giving Cody the inside and the apex easily. And that is the move done for Cody. That's the better car. But Van de Kokel, he's, he's held it. They're only about six and a half tenths uh, apart at the moment, so perhaps Pride has found his rhythm and is starting to reel him back in. But for now, he's still ahead. Uh, yeah, oh, he's looking like later. Cody's a lot less in the brakes, but he's really pushing as well, isn't he? So. He was maybe a slow one, but he looks less likely to make a proper mistake that could end his race. Whereas Cody there, if he you know, had got a bit too out of control for that corner, could have crashed it, and then that would be all of his chances gone. So there's a Moffat. Ah, go away. I think we Moffat <laughs> like, full and came back for revenge then. Oh, retreated to the one. corner of my room. The, honestly, it's a common occurrence, Moffat. So I've got like, Moffat oh, Town. Right. Well, when he's supposedly screaming during... Um... Or something like that during the Spa Spa 12. Yeah. I think yeah, something the scream, something like the screams were amazing. Yeah, there's, there was a large moth present in my room. It wasn't, <laughs> wasn't nice. No, I don't think it would be. Quite annoying. It's better than a wasp though. If they had a wasp. Oh wait, wasn't it Jonathan that had a wasp enter his um, room during a scream during a stream? Yeah. Also, Alex saying Monza Lobby is currently 25 out of 30, so while we're away, all the other lobbies are actually filling up. So we're not only a commentator's curse, we're also a lobby curse tonight. As Niels Van der Koko goes wide on the penultimate corner, this allows Cody to get down the inside. He's going around the outside now, and they're going to have a drag race down the start finish. It does look as though Pride is, uh, has the advantage, as he was in the Audi, McLaren not perhaps not having the... Uh, advantage in a straight line, you'll definitely have it in the corners, but that's what you, not what you need in the start from the straight. He's going around the outside, he might try for the uh, overcut, he's uh, squeezing uh, Pride to within an inch of his life and just about, just about, edges ahead, he might just, no, he leaves him plenty of room, beautiful race craft from Van der Kokel, very well done, he still manages to hold on to V1, so brilliant race for both of them, beautiful. Yeah, as he runs slightly wide though, coming through that long right hand, allowing Cody to get a better run close back up to the back of that twin turbo V8 vehicle from Woking. Bouncing over the curbs though, this is no real area to make an overtake, you can get close and pressure the car, but really what you want to do is follow them through this section, get as good of a run as possible on the exit, into the hairpin at the, the highest point on the circuit, send it there, and then, or again, follow until the next heavy braking zone. As Cody has done just that, he's gone really close to the back of that McLaren, but it's not going to be enough. It does look as though Van der Kokel is going to hold on. Oh, yeah, he's going to hold on to P1 for the time being. There's a little spit of sparks coming out of the back of the uh, McLaren there, and Pride very nearly had him, but uh, uh, Van der Kokel, he kept a narrower line.